Hi, I'm Sudhi Ramamurthy, a program manager in the Office Extensibility team. In this video, I'll introduce you to the new Excel REST APIs as part of the Office 365 API set. Over the next few minutes, we'll briefly go over the high-level features. We'll look at a small demo that shows the interaction with Excel document using these APIs. And finally, I'll point you to some useful resources on the web. I'm excited to announce that we are adding brand new REST APIs that lets you develop applications that read and modify data in Excel workbook. These APIs can be used to build new class of web and mobile applications that take advantage of analytical and visualization power of Excel. The Excel REST APIs will be supported for Excel files stored in OneDrive business or on a SharePoint online site. The new APIs are going to be available as part of the Microsoft Graph APIs, which is a single endpoint to access many of the Office 365 services. To begin with, we're going to be releasing this as part of the beta version. The Excel files can be addressed over Files API by adding an additional URL segment at the end called Workbook. This tells the service that you're invoking an Excel API. An example URL is shown here. This addresses worksheets collection of the Excel document. Notice that we are using Files API to identify the target file and following that with workbook segment and worksheets collection resource. In terms of the functionality, these APIs we are introducing allows data access through objects such as worksheets, tables, range, chart, and named items. Some of the actions these APIs support are creation and management of worksheets, tables, and charts, read and update range data, formula, number formats, formatting of range, chart, and tables. Downloading of chart is also supported as an image. You have the option of saving your updates to the workbook, or you may simply wish to operate on the data and do analysis without saving the file. All operations are based on open standards, such as OAuth 2.0, REST or data, and uses JSON format for both input and output. Now, let's focus on the initial steps. As a first step, register your app in Azure portal. While setting up your app permissions, include necessary permissions to read and write the files. Follow the OAuth flow and get access token. And finally, use Microsoft Graph Files API to address the target file and add workbook URL segment at the end of the URL to invoke Excel APIs. Let's look at the demo. I'm going to show the demo in two parts. First, I'll use a simple web application to showcase how an app can interact with Excel data stored remotely. Secondly, I'll run through some APIs manually. For the purpose of this demo, I'll bypass OAuth flows and access an internal builds endpoint directly. In the real world, you'll be accessing APIs through Microsoft Graph Endpoint using OAuth flow. Now, what you're looking at is an Excel file stored online. This contains list of tasks and priority and status and person completion and some date information. I'm going to pin this on one side. And what you're seeing on the left side is a, a web application that is reading and writing to the same Excel file that we just looked at. Let's go ahead and add a new task. I'm going to choose some values here and insert a row. As you can see, as soon as I created that row in the application, the Excel file got updated. And essentially, the application added a new row to the existing table using the same template that the application understood. Now, wouldn't it be great if we can visualize the tasks using the native Excel chart feature. Now, the, all of these tasks have uh, status. Maybe one of the questions that you might have is, what is the breakup of these tasks based on the, the type of status? The application provides a link that goes and fetches an existing chart in the spreadsheet and downloads that as an image and displays it on the application. Now, this is a great way to use the analytical power of Excel and display um, the content in your mobile or web application. Now that's the demo using the application. Now let's look at some of these requests manually. Now I'm going to just do a couple of things. 
onto the same spreadsheet that we are looking at, I'm going to add a new worksheet and update range on top of that uh, newly created worksheet just to give you a flavor of what the syntax looks like. I'm going to use Fiddler in order to do this. And Fiddler is a tool using which you can interact at the protocol level. I'm going to go to the composer. And to begin with, I'm going to add a new worksheet. So I'm going to use the worksheet, address the worksheet's collection, and provide a JSON body stating that I want this sheet to be created which the, with the name sheet 3. Now I get a 201, and on the right-hand side, you can see that a new worksheet called sheet 3 got inserted. This was just a brief introduction. Look for new features and enhancements as we add more Excel APIs. Your feedback is important to us, so please send us your comments through the listed support channels. These pages provide important resources to help learn more and ask questions. Thank you for watching this session, and happy coding.